Hello, my beautiful Geminis. Welcome to your reading, guys. If you're new, I'm Miss Seedy. If you're returning, welcome back, my darlings. I'm excited. We're going to look into the divine feminine messages, the divine masculine messages. I got them upside down here. <laughs> and we're going to see what's going on with the tarot. We're going to look into some angel answers. So make sure you get your questions ready. And I also did pick a lucky person to win for the pull a card from the last reading. So if you want to get picked this time, you have to comment. Make sure you leave a comment about where you're watching from, how it resonates. You do have to subscribe. Yes, I can check. And, uh, and yeah, just let me know how these are resonating or where you're watching from. These are all flipped over. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm just going to shuffle them and however they fly out, they fly out. So let's see. So this is the divine feminine messages. I have the divine masculine. So again, depending on the dynamic of your situation, read it as it applies. If it doesn't fit for you, it's not for you. Okay, so again, there's a lot of energy coming through and thank you everyone because we hit 20k here on YouTube. So I am beyond grateful to share these beautiful messages with you. I'm going to get your masculine messages as well here for us. What are the divine masculine messages for my Geminis? That was fast. Okay, so the feminine messages we have hold me and never let me go oh my as i drop it <laughs> hold me and never let me go beautiful we are twin flames so you are definitely connected with your twin flame feminines you know it uh feel my love it's burning that's for sure let's see we also have i know that you love me so my feminines you know this or the feminine in the connection does we have a mission together, absolutely, with the twin flames. So you guys gotta bring this together. I'm just saying, feminines. Or this is you if you're knowing this about your feminine or your feminine does know, depending on the dynamic. And I just wanna make an announcement, guys, too, about all the scammers. I will never reach out to you. Uh, only use my official links provided below, but you can only book with me on my website and uh, don't ever send information to anyone pretending to be me, okay? Just letting you know that. You changed my life. Feminines, wow. You drive me wild. And I miss the time we shared. So there's definitely possibly like a period of separation if you're in that phase of your twin flame journey. We also have I miss you from the masculine now. So hold me and never let me go. They miss you. I am learning my lessons. Some big lessons going on here. I want a family with you. So the masculine sees you as the person they want to raise a family with here. I have, I have to release the past. My feminines, you are the one. We have a mission together. I know that you love me. They, you know this, you know you're the one. They know you're the one. So can we just get on with it, right? I need space right now to heal. Makes sense. So that separation phase here is for healing, which means if they need to heal, so do you. And I am transforming, which is perfect because they're stepping into their divine role, their divine energy. Yes. <laughs> okay. Do I want to do... Yeah, I'm going to do these quick. I'm going to do the heart and soul. So this is like a love oracle. Let's see what's coming through. We're just going to take one of these. Okay, I said one and then we got two. I'll give you two then. How's that? Gemini, it makes sense. We'll go for both sides. <laughs> I want to favor everyone here. So insignificant. I feel so insignificant, so small. You treated me like an afterthought, like I didn't matter trigger warning guys and then with Chiron and retrograde too it's all about the healing so make sure if you're feeling stuff to bring yourself back up with some beautiful meditation and music I'm gonna give you a trigger warning right now apparently here we go so I feel so insignificant so small you treated me like an afterthought like I didn't matter always putting me last on your priority list I feel like I'm being sucked into the never-ending abyss of darkness and sadness you've knocked me down for the last time no one will ever make me feel small ever again wow so my feminines possibly because in the card is the feminine energy not that it matters of course relate it to how it is but we have moving on i have had so much to think about lately we're where i've been where i am and where i want to be i know the road i've traveled and it hasn't been easy but it hasn't broken me i never thought i'd be traveling this road without you 
It was always you and I. If our paths are meant to cross again, we will. For now, I have to move on. And it's specifically because they haven't been honoring you, but they're not honoring you because they don't even honor themselves. That's why they have to transform. They need space to heal. So very intense energy. I was not prepared for that. I'm sorry to hit you with some <laughs> truths, but you know I'm going to be as blunt and honest as I can, okay? So let's see what's coming through with the Gilded Terror Royale for you for the month of August. What is coming through or whenever you're watching this. So let's see what's coming through for my Gemini's. Beautiful. At the bottom, tower card. There we go. Breakup, separation, something got knocked off here. Scorpio energy. So something, a big shakeup, breakup could be a separation for some of you too. Again, here, can talk about that separation with the Pisces energy at the hangman. Um, so some of you are just kind of like breaking free from something. So definitely an ending, definitely a separation, distance, however this may be. Um, your person is needing to see things from a different perspective or vice versa, right? We're talking about the, how they made you feel. So that's sort of also like the way she's kind of like laying right on the edge there is sort of how you guys are kind of also right you're both in this really um I heard lethargic but that's not really what it is it's more just like all is lost like very doom and gloom is kind of the energy that I'm getting but we have an ace of wands and I feel like that's sort of where you're getting this spark this energy here to move forward and again the genders don't matter here but this is also talking about an offer something passionate so there could be something that you're just like you know what like you kind of needed this I feel like for some of you too it's like that anger got triggered and you're just like you know what like forget it I'm just doing me I'm focusing on my thing and you're put setting out onto this new journey and getting into like this action mode after a period of maybe not being very uh, productive, if we'll say, okay? So with this Ace of Wands, that's a Leo, Aries, or a Sagittarius here, but there could be someone wanting to offer something very passionate towards you. For some of you, there could have been some delays with this fun wand energy in the passion department, but we are waiting for this, right? We're waiting for this person to snap out of whatever they're dealing with. Heal, in this case, it's not fast. Healing has no timeline, right? So you're just not gonna keep sitting around. You're gonna just keep doing your thing until they make it to shore but you are waiting so for some of you you're getting ready to go to new places maybe you're traveling like actually going to be traveling to somewhere nice here as you see a boat here so for some of you you're making some choices but again this makes the four of wands so for right now until it comes together you're in separation you're not in union i'm sorry someone's going to be getting some money because my nose is always itchy we have the knight of swords which is those sleepless nights okay so some of you are waiting up at night, overthinking. I mean, Gemini, that doesn't sound like you at all. Uh, we have, you know, analysis, over analysis, paralysis coming through is what I feel. For many of you, there's just so many things on your mind, so many details, insomnia, sleepless nights. We did just have a full moon moving towards the new moon. So there could be a lot of different things that are coming up in this situation about scenarios, overthinking and remembering all these past events here too. And possibly also, because that's that sabotaging energy where you you're confused, right? Um, you wouldn't be confused if they weren't leaving you in confusing situations. So part of it too is like they weren't giving to you fully. You know that there's something significant here, but then you're also recognizing all those times that they like, wow, because you wouldn't overthink it if you had the answers, right? It's like that detective mind. So if you already knew it, you wouldn't be like, huh, well, what were they hiding or why? So there's like almost like a trust thing here too. So for the others of you, that's why you got separated from this person. That's why there's a break between the two of you because there is this dishonesty where they're being sneaky. They're getting away with some stuff. They're not telling you the full situation. And on top of that, they're only giving you like this breadcrumb. They're just giving you what you need and then kind of like sneaking off, right? Okay, so there's definitely with the swords energy here too. So Gemini can be you, can be um, Libra or Gemini. Gemini, Aquarius, sorry you guys. Um, you could also be dealing with a fire sign or Pisces here too. So I feel like whatever this sabotaging energy might have also been, if you're overthinking scenarios too, that doesn't help either because then you kind of like upset yourself, right? Who's done that before? I'm just saying. But with the, the uh, page of pentacles, we are waiting for something solid, something real, something tangible. So this person may be coming towards you, but again, it might just be a message. It might be a communication pages or communication, but this can be 
be someone who's recognized, someone who has achievements. They do have pure intentions and they're holding up a really big pentacle. So for some of you, you're moving on and you're probably going to meet someone new in the middle of this. So it could be someone younger, might be children involved here too in some way. But I feel like there could be an opportunity for you to expand your horizons in business and work to make some money to gain some prosperity in this way too. Could be online as well because I got the spider webs up there and we got the blooming uh, cherry blossoms here too. So for some of you, you're doing some research, learning some stuff, getting an offer or making an offer to someone here too. But this is a long-term goal. So for some of you, you want something serious. So if they come towards you, uh, maybe this person has been really working really hard to get this. Like they could be buying you some very nice gift or something very special and meaningful because he's holding it so proud. And because it's kind of shining with the sun there too, I feel like it's definitely like, ooh, shiny. <laughs> Take that how you want. But we also have the wheel of fortune. So there is definitely a very um, beautiful, abundant time ahead for you. And it is going to be rewards for all your hard work here. Could be a serious connection coming through as well too. The wheel of fortune brings these blessings. And I feel like there's definitely a call to action, uh, getting into movement. Maybe it, it takes you moving on or it takes you pulling away your energy for them to get into action, for them to smarten up. Or in like part of it too is like they're looking over their, you're, they're looking over their shoulder. Like, are you coming after them? So it's making me think of that runner chaser sort of thing. So if you're moving on to move on for you, then don't keep looking back to see if they're coming towards you. Go live your best life. Do your best things because the wheel of fortune is waiting to bless you. And you've been going through the grind. Some of you literally have been like working really, really hard and putting in that beautiful energy, which will be rewarded because now you're going to get to enjoy the view as you go around the wheel and have fun, right? The wheel stops so that if you've ever been on those Ferris wheels or those like city view things, the wheel stops so that people can get on and off. So some people need to get on and off your ride right now so that you can go around and have a really nice time here with people who do not make you feel that you don't understand what's going on in your dynamic, okay? I'm going to use the angel answer so feel free to pop, pause me. I'm going to do, I'm going to see how many cards come out. So we'll see. So if you have more than one question, I'm not going to do a whole stack. Thank you very much. So let's see. Angel answers. What messages do you have for our beautiful Geminis and what they're thinking? So feel free to pause or hang tight. What are the answers that my Geminis need right now? Okay. So if you had, I'm not going to say four questions, but if there's, this can be the whole situation, this can be the advice in your situation. And then I'm going to pick the lucky winner, which I will announce in a second. So we have ask your angels, ask your angels for the best guidance, the highest outcome, the best outcome in this in order to move on. They are protecting you. Look at this beautiful golden energy around you. You are safe. You are protected. We do have taking action is necessary. So ask your angels to guide you into the best direction look at this badass unicorn here too i love it so taking action with this rainbow shining the way like here we are we're looking and we're going to move into this new area so they will be pulling you into this but there is motion and movement needed on your part let go right some of you are really forcing and holding on and not letting things uh flow the way they're meant to or letting go of this situation it's interesting because here's the gears here too so someone's all caught in the gears okay i bet things are gearing up too i like that but we got to let go of this situation you can't force things into a certain way you can't slow down or speed up the process you just it's divine time not your time not my time not their time it's divine time okay um but within the next few weeks because i know you want to know so now you know <laughs> okay in the next few weeks things are going to be definitely um definitely coming together so ask your angels on what ways you can take action best and of course again surrendering by letting it go to your higher self to the divine plan that is meant for you and your person so for the gemini's thank you everyone who commented i picked uh, stacy from england you were the winner so congratulations guys so if you want to get picked next time you got to comment your name where you're watching from how it's resonating and you got to subscribe as well too and make sure you join the tiktok community as well let's see what's coming through for you and how it relates to what is here what are the messages for stacy please oh my goodness girl got a lot so thank you again for your support thank you for being here so stacy we have wow i cannot make this up hold on hold on <laughs> some of you this is good and again this this message might also resonate for you too so we had the hangman twice 
I'm just gonna say. Uh, you got the Eight of Swords here too. So there's definitely like some separation, some situations. This might also have resonated for you too. I feel like there's definitely a separation that has been keeping you really stuck. Maybe this is also you not ready to move forward, not ready to let go. Um, the Hangman here twice can just also mean very strong Pisces. Maybe your intuition or maybe you're not listening to your intuition because it's interesting how there is a red uh, cloak here with a blindfold and then she's in a red cloak with a blindfold. So there is some kind of Pisces is illusions. Some kind, not delusion, I'm not gonna say you're delusional, but there's something that is causing this illusion that you don't see a way out or that you keep kind of reliving and rethinking this pattern and situation. But we have all this happiness and blessings and abundance, the 10 of cups, right? So it's like, you're not seeing a way out of the situation. Meanwhile, there's all these blessings with that rainbow, right? This is like asking you to take action towards your happiness, to put things into motion. Possibly after the separation, things are gonna be coming in with the Hierophant leading to something serious and committed. This can be long term. I mean, maybe part of this separation was needed to let go of a lot of mental anguish or burden, but you are moving towards a commitment, a marriage here as well, too. Maybe there's delays for the process for you so that you can get your happily ever after here in whatever way. The death card talks about endings and new beginnings. So there's big transformations and changes. And I feel like that's the only thing that's going to make the wheel spin in this situation. However, can also mean Scorpio. You do have air water and Taurus energy here too with Pisces energy. So, so far, you know, a lot of stuff going on, but this is also talking about a major transformation in the connection. Maybe this person needed some time apart so that they can come back more serious and you're going to be hearing from them. Here's this Cupid's arrow. Um, serious communication, travel could be involved here too, but there is back and forth communication. These are Cupid's arrows, love notes, however it is. And we got the three of wands twice for you too. Just confirming if this was your reading, let me know how it's resonating. Wait, Maybe you're both waiting and that's why it's kind of like a stalemate. Like maybe you're both in this mental anguish and you're kind of feeling stuck and they know you're feeling stuck because this can also be them up at night knowing that you're thinking about them. If you have such a powerful twin flame connection, ooh, telepathic, yes, ten of wands stepping into, um, you know, carrying all these different things. There's just a lot of burdens that need to be laid down in this situation, which is also why the Ace of Wands is here. Because in order to have this fresh start, you got to like let go. You keep trying to build something from what you have, but it might not be from what there is. It's about needing to like have fresh, okay? You are building, maybe you're building a home or building something here too with the Ten of Cups can also mean a new house. But with the Nine of Wands, yeah, I feel like you keep trying to carry something, but it keeps getting blocked. This can also be getting sent packing in one way. Maybe you sent them away or they are, there's a blocked energy of this wounded warrior kind of like take what you can carry. Uh, very difficult energy here, but I feel like you're both very closed off, both very wounded, both very hurt. And it can be because of these deceptions that led to the separation. So this time apart is meant for healing and clearing so that you can take action so that they can come towards you, right? So they can go to the tent, so they can carry this through to bring in that ace of wands so that you can have that offer come through, which is what they are, you know, arching up. Maybe they're an archer here too. I don't know where Archie could be significant, but stepping into that power and shooting that arrow uh, of love and making this connection. I mean, within the next few weeks, things are going to be progressing in a very positive way this month for you. So just try to not overthink, try to not block opportunities here too. So I, I see a lot of stuff growing in this situation, but I feel like it might have been a long period of time that you've been apart from this person. Do let me know how this resonates, my love. I'm so grateful for all of you. Thank you again for all your support, your likes, shares, and subscriptions. And I'm so excited for the 20,000. Thank you so much for all of you. Make sure you join the TikTok community as well. Follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll see you guys really soon. God bless love and light and take care. Bye.